I'll be speaking on formula method. The formula method. You see, sometimes a carnal spirit can say something that is true. But that what is said is true does not mean we should continue using that formula. Now, you can use a wrong formula to get a right answer, as it were. But that does not mean you should continue to use that formula. For instance, a, a husband and a wife, they have misunderstanding. Maybe the wife is arguing with the husband. So, the husband slapped the wife. And when he slapped the wife, the wife kept quiet. And everything went down. So the next time another couple, you know, they had a misunderstanding, it would be wrong for you to now go to such people and say, is your wife arguing with you? Yes, I don't know. She's arguing. You know. It has happened to me before. When it happened, I just slapped her and that was all. If you slapped your wife, she will stop. I said, are you sure? Uh-uh. I said, that's what I did now. The moment I slapped her like this, she just stopped. For that other family, <laughs> that slap can be the reason they will break up the marriage. So, there are certain wrong formulas that can give something that looks right. But for the fact that they give the right answer does not mean they are right. There are certain people that because their wife is misbehaving, they now marry another one. If you are not careful, the day your wife misbehaves, if you go to such people for counsel, they will tell you to marry another wife. And that, will, that may be the reason your life will be destroyed. Are you there? Because what appeared to work for them may not be suitable for your own destiny. So you have to be wise. It is not about results, but about the source or the producer of that result. Many have ended up camping with a lie because they used it and it worked for them. Many are currently submitting their future to false prophets because they seem to be telling them something that looks true for them. It is not about the source, but about the result. Even if you get a desired result, it won't last if the source is not from God. Now, let me give you another example. Now, a brother of mine looked at the number of subscribers on a particular ministry's um, YouTube channel. And he concluded that they have a bright future. He just said, wow, this ministry has a bright future. Now, when I heard that, I was quiet anyways, but his parameters for judgment was wrong. The parameter was kind of because he was judging only from the large number of subscribers that he saw. But yet, his conclusions were right because obviously they have, they have a bright future. But their bright future is not because of the numbers of subscribers they have. So sometimes you can be speaking from carnality and somehow find your way to something that is true. You can speak from carnality something that is true. But for the fact that the thing is true does not mean you, you, you have to continue speaking from that carnality. That's why it's not about what the person is saying. Check the source. Check the source. You know, they actually have a bright future, but it is not because of the high number of subscribers, but because of their commitment to kingdom things. Their bright future is because they are in alignment with God's will, because they have committed themselves to the ministry given to them by the Lord. So don't judge by the statement. Judge by the source. Are you there? The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So it, 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 it's not just about, I did, I used this method and it worked. No. You can use a wrong method and get a right result. But if you don't check that formula well, you may continue to use it. And you will discover that you will be moving closer and closer and closer to destruction. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. This is the wisdom of God.